Hello and welcome to my 11 Labs review where I'm going to be giving you a demo and kind of walking you through some of the best features. I'm not big on introductions, so let's get right on into it with speech synthesis, otherwise known as text to speech. So I do have to say there's going to be plenty of pre-made voices here and they're all really good. In fact, there's two that I really love. There's one that I think is the best. It's going to be Bella and we'll save her for later, but this is going to be Antony for now. I'm going to give you a quick overview of what they sound like. So I just put thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. It's usually what I say at the end of my YouTube videos. So let's click on generate. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, here's Bella. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, I think she's fantastic. Like I said, she sounds like she would be, say, on a like cat food commercial or something. All right, generate. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, that one's okay, not my favorite. And let's do one more with Adam. Let's do generate. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, that one almost sounded a little robotic, but there are some cool things you can do here. Let's go back to Bella, because I think she is great. You can also say something like, she shouted angrily so you can actually change the context of this while it's going to say this it's also going to say this like shouting angrily yeah that wouldn't make sense so thank you for watching let's change this around i hope i see you in my next video i hope i see you in my next video she shouted angrily See, did you hear that? She certainly shouted that one and then it was like she shouted angrily so if i take this out it's not going to sound like shouting anymore I hope I see you in my next video. Just very quick and straight to the point. Now, there's also going to be some voice settings that we can play around with. So this is going to be up to you if we want to go to default. So there's stability and clarity. So if you want this to be more stable, you can do it like that. Considering the fact I just changed it around, let's listen to it now. I hope I see you in my next video. Okay. And if we want to do clarity, let's go all the way to the end just so you can hear the difference. I hope I see you in my next video. Okay, let's bring this all the way down for stability. I hope I see you in my next video. Okay, I should probably use a, a different phrase, but I think you get the idea here. I'm going to go back to default. That's what is all about when it comes to the text to speech. I think they're very good. Like I said, with Bella, there's going to be a few others. Plus, there's also the ability to utilize the voice library. So this is going to be something that was added recently, and it sorts by the amount of users and the amount of characters generated. So let's add a sample or just play a sample here with Bruce. To exist is to change, to change is to mature, to mature is to go on creating oneself endlessly. And since we did Bruce, we got to go with Wayne. I know that's a Batman reference. I know it, Bruce and Wayne at the top. Come on, Batman, I know you're here. You can't blame gravity for falling in love. Okay, an Indian male young. We must embrace pain and burn it as fuel for our journey. So these are some voices that you can simply add to your voice lab if you want to utilize. Even better, you can clone your own voice and allow me to show you that process right now in the voice lab section. So I've done this a couple of times and I just wanted to start from scratch just to show you how it's done in case you want to obviously check it out yourself. Let's click on add generative or cloned voice. Here I want to do the instant voice cloning with a clean, simple recording. So samples should contain one speaker and be over one minute long and not contain background noise. Pretty simple. Also, if you want to do it like I did previously, is you can just take a YouTube video, download it, and just like search for MP4 to MP3 converter. Then you'll have an audio file and you can upload it that way. But I'm going to click here. And let's call this James from Marketing Island again. I have a audio file that I'm going to upload as well. Okay, so that's going to be there, and I can play it very quickly. Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about 11 labs and everything that they have to offer. Now, okay, so anytime you're actually listening to something, there's going to be a bar down here in case you wanted to know. You can just click this arrow, move it down, or move it back up. So we have some labels here. Let's click on add. So accent, we, you know, we can just do American. Check. Let's do another one. Say let's do gender and male. These are just some values if you want to add them. So let's do confident male voice. There's something like that. Or at least I hope I come off as a confident male voice, right? So everything looks good here. And we just have to click on this that you confirm you have the rights to it. You're not going to be using it for any illegal, fraudulent, or harmful purposes and so on and so forth. And upon doing so, let's click on the add voice button. Now, something that I really like about this is that that only probably took about five, six, seven, eight seconds or so. I've used other software tools where you have to wait like 24 hours for your own clone voice. They are fast, they are efficient, and it's pretty good overall. You are going to have to mess around with the settings, but let's use this and hear how it sounds. Let's change this up a little. 
All right, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. So the voice settings are just gonna be there. We're gonna have to toy around with this a good amount depending on the voice and your recording, but let's give a listen. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, so that definitely needs some changing there. So what I like doing is kind of dragging the bars like really high or really low. Let's mess around. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, how about clarity? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Almost a little too deep, right? So let's go to the other spectrum just to see. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Let's go back over here with stability. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, so that almost sounded a lot better in the beginning. So like clarity and similarity. How about stability? Let's move this at like 25. This is the part I'm talking about when it comes to finding like your best voice, whether it's your own voice or someone else's, there are going to be like the times you have to toy around with it just to get a good idea of what you like. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Okay. So that's the, I think you saw how it kind of dragged on a little, right? With the clarity overall. So I think this can be moved up a little bit more. There were definitely aspects that sounded very good though. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, so definitely needs a little bit more improvement, but I just wanted to show you like that's going to be the process when it comes to cloning your own voice. And in my opinion, I think some of the pre-made voices are just great enough where you don't always have to use a clone voice, but I can certainly understand why you'd want to because it's just really cool overall. Nevertheless, let's take a quick look at the pricing. What I do like about them is that they do come with a free plan. As you can see here, there's going to be no commercial license though with the free. You get 10,000 characters per month. And something I want to keep in mind is the fact that it's characters, not words. And anytime you go to click on the generate button, let's just like change it up a little so you can hear something new. You're going to notice that it's going to take away from the characters. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind. It's going to be characters. You can create up to three custom voices. You can do random voices using voice design. You have a lot of different um, languages that you can create in. All you need to do is translate it and move it on over. And then simply, in fact, let me just show you very quickly. So I'm going to go to Google Translate. So we have English to Spanish. And I'm going to copy this. Let's paste it and you can listen to it in Espanol. Muchas gracias por mirar y nos vemos en mi próximo video. Okay, I think that actually sounded much more like my voice than doing the English version. Like, muchos gracias por mirar y nos vemos en el próximo video, something like that. So that one was actually really good in Spanish. So I like that. that that's funny. So aside from that, that's going to be the free. And the first month is 80% off, which I think comes out to a dollar and then it's $5 a month. So very inexpensive in terms of like the lower pricing plans. You're going to get a few more good benefits here with like the commercial license. Uh, you get can create up to 10 custom voices, instant voice cloning. And of course, as you go up, you're going to get more characters. But if you do want to scale, it is going to be a little bit more pricier depending on how many characters you need. So for example, around $100 a month is going to be 500,000 characters. For 330 is going to be 2 million. And of course, if you need more, you can always talk to them. Nevertheless, I think Eleven Labs is a neat little software. I think the voices that are pre-made are fantastic. I love the fact that the voice cloning is quick and efficient. Yes, you're going to have to play around with some of the settings here and there, but it's certainly a software at least testing out, especially, say, if you're like a big YouTuber and you need a text-to-speech, something that you can utilize, say, with AI so that not only can you create videos, but you can use Eleven Labs for the audio and obviously combine them together to create even more at a faster pace. So be sure to at least check them out. Like I said, they come with a free forever plan. And of course, if needed, you can always upgrade like I did. Nevertheless, that concludes my 11 Labs review. If you have any questions or anything I didn't get to cover, I just wanted to make sure I covered some of the most important features and kind of give you a demo about how they work. You can leave a comment down below. Nevertheless, as you've heard many times before, my name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.